Hey SD, how's it going? Simon here. So the, there's a few things that I wanted to show you that I like to um, show all my clients, to be honest. So, um, you know, before we sort of set off on this, I guess it's a, a bit of a journey. Uh, I like them to see exactly, um, you know, what's achievable, what's going on in their industry in terms of SEO, because most people know what it is, or, or at least have an idea and they know, might know how it works. But to see, you know, sort of what they're up against um, and what's achievable, I think is really, really valuable. So I'm going to have a look at that. Now, you mentioned that you've gone over to Square, Squarespace. That's fine. Um, but one thing I did want to show you was you've actually just got to change your, see the little black box on the left-hand side of the tab there. You just need to get a, go ahead and change that favicon um, to your own logo, which isn't hard. And that's something we can do for you. But um, it's just uh, makes it look more professional. A lot of people know that's Square, Squarespace's logo. Um, oops. So other than that, this is a beautiful site. I uh, really like it. I can see you've got some blogs there. That's really, really good for SEO. Um, some looks like some more blogs. Oh yeah, and these are actually your own trips. So that's, that's very cool. I, I like the website a lot. Um, yeah, really nice. So with a blog, it means you don't have to put as much um, content on your homepage to try and rank it because Google likes to see a ton of words uh, usually on a homepage, but a blog kind of negates that. Really, Google just likes to see that you're adding value to the community for nothing. So the blog is perfect. Okay, so to move along, I just had a look at this global travel agent, uh, sorry, global travel collection um, piece down here. And I was checking out these. Now, I saw that um, you sort of mentioned that, you know, people are, or sorry, that they mentioned that the people are using these to find right now, to find um, travel agents right now, which is fair enough. It makes sense, especially all this luxury, luxury, luxury uh, for you. Um, but as I go through, I just want to show you some of the keywords that I've found that I think um, paint a really, really clear picture. So I use this tool here called Arifs, and I've put your um, website into it here, and I can see <clears throat> You've, it looks like you've had maybe a little bit of SEO done once before, or this may be organic growth, although looking at that, that's your um, referring domain. So I'm not sure if you know what a backlink is, but a backlink is anywhere one website refers to another via a clickable link. So this here would, whoops, your URL there is technically a backlink. However, because it's not a permanent backlink, uh, it won't show up in this number, but that's the same idea. It's just a clickable link. Takes you takes them to your website. So you've got 183 of those out and about in the in the interweb, and it looks like they started doing that right around late October. Um, you can see a bit of a jump there. So maybe someone's doing that now. Coming across to have a look at your organic keywords, which are those search phrases, and I'm going to filter on volume to start with to have a look at some of the better keywords or the more higher volume keywords you've got that um, already just doesn't look like a whole whole lot of targeted keywords um, which is pretty standard so maybe luxurious obviously because it's your name but um and then if we go to position just so i can show you where you're currently ranking number eight for your name um and then so that's that's page one there's 10 results per page page three, page four, and so on. So the idea is to get as many of these other keywords, I'll show you in a minute, um, onto your page and then start ranking them all, and building on these search volumes. So this volume here is search volume per month. And traffic is obviously the traffic you're getting from those uh, searches per month. So right now, let's click on that. You're sort of, you must be getting like a click or two once every two months on a couple of those keywords and then obviously down here where we're not getting any at the moment. Um, so what I did was I typed in lux luxury travel agent, which I thought was a pretty um, pretty good keyword for you. And I chose a couple of the big guys, so Virtuoso and Zacaso, which I've never heard of, but um, they're, they're a big mob by the looks. Uh, Zacaso we'll start with, oh, I'll go to Australia. There you go. You gotta have one of those on your website. Nice, nice kangaroo or a wallaby. Um, Yep, yeah, another nice site. There's a wallaby. This one here, that's a big red. Oh no, that's actually a wallaby. The big reds can get taller than me and weigh almost one and a half times me. They're huge, some of them. 
believe it or not. Um, okay, so I've put them into this tool as well. Now, what I want to point out here is they've got a lot going on in this realm here, which is what's building these huge ratings. Uh, so these are, this is pretty tough competition. It doesn't mean you can't get up there and sort of sit with the big boys, but um, it would take you, a little take you a little while to start getting these sorts of numbers. Um, and then if we look at their keyword, I mean, these guys are getting 20,000 clicks per month. So they're, they're, they've been going around, they've been doing this for a while. So, you know, 1500 there, 1600 there. I mean, these aren't the best keywords either. So what I've done is put it into this thing here and I've focused on people looking specifically for either luxury or an agent or advisor or company. Um, because obviously that's, you know, buyer intent behind that they're looking for someone to to pull the trigger with um these are good too because they're what people will go to blogs for to read about you know this and that or whatever um reviews are always necessary to uh, rank a review page because usually the progression people take is let's say uh let's say they were just going to focus on national so that's they might say you know, best travel agents in America or best travel agents, yeah, for Italy, something like that. They go and read a bunch of um, documents and then the next step, once they've found um, the one that they liked, they go travel agent reviews. And then from there, they go to travel agent company or travel agent, a uh, travel agency, you know, or whatever. But um, it's kind of a natural progression that people take. Uh, so you've got to have you know, not only buyer intent keywords on your page, but a few other things. But you can see here, there's huge volume, hundreds and hundreds of searches for, um, you know, travel agent, luxury, 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 luxury. And I haven't put in things like, um, you know, luxury cruise or luxury um, holiday or anything like that. I'm just focusing, trying to focus more on buyer intent. Um, so uh, what I wanted to point out here is these, obviously a really, really good one, luxury travel agent. Now this 72 here, is the KD, which is keyword difficulty or agency here. That's the keyword difficulty. And what that means is that number goes from zero to 100 and the higher it is means the more competition there is in the, in the online space uh, to compete with. So it just means that to get to page one, a, 70, uh, a keyword around the 70, 60, 70, 80 mark could take you well over a year to begin to rank consistently for. Um, and then down to these 20s is down to a handful of months, three, four, maybe five months, depending, depending on, you know, things like budget and, and whatnot, because obviously you can get more work done in a month for more money. These eights, usually a month or two. So the idea is to get some of the really hard ones and just start plugging away because in a year, two, three years time, for some of the even harder ones, uh, you'll start ranking for them and that's great. But in the, in the interim, you sort of got all these nice, easy ones that pulls you in a ton of business anyway. So it's kind of, um, you know, it kind of works in your favor anyway, getting those easy ones out of the way and then slowly working your way up the chain. Okay, so there's tons, there's tons of good keywords for you. I mean, you know, I've just with these searches, like over 1100, I mean, there's that is ridiculous. So really cool. Uh, Virtuoso, I just like to compare sites, um, site by site. The one thing I will say is, and <laughs> don't tell your husband, um, people just seem to gravitate towards WordPress these days. Your site doesn't necessarily look, uh, word, yeah, WordPress. Your site doesn't technically look like a Squarespace site, so that's good. Um, but for whatever reason, like WordPress is really taking over the market. I think it's something like 40% of, of, of um, uh, websites nowadays are WordPress. I, I think that's the number. I, it's just slipped my mind. But um, yeah, anyway, put them in here. Now these guys are huge. So 78, 78. To get those sorts of rankings, you're looking at probably, gosh, year and a half, 18 months. And as, as I say, that's the end goal. It's not necessarily where you want to you know, get to in a month. You start off with the, with the easier ones, taking over the, <laughs> taking over the three-year-olds before you go to the, um, you know, the 30-year-olds. Uh, so these guys, organic keywords. Oh, I've actually opened it over here as well. You know, luxury travel advisor. That's perfect. Six hundred searches per month, only fifteen KD. Um, it's just you could really, really make some bank with these keywords. Um, 
obviously a lot of people searching for travel still at the moment, so that's um, probably pretty good news to you. But um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, I've probably dribbled on a bit too long already. So um, just to recap, site looks great. I'm not too sure how I would go about using these keywords. And I mean, I guess if you wanted to specifically be picked up for say destination weddings, fine, you could, you could rank for that and, and maybe honeymoons or, or luxury spas, like we could capture all these luxury ones, that sort of makes sense. Um, and then, you know, so on, but I mean, you could capture all of them eventually, but it, uh, it does take time. So, uh, that was that. And then, you know, getting these keywords onto your site and getting these, these ratings up 25 is not bad for your homepage. That's actually a really good start. Uh, as I say, that's probably from this, this, this work that's being done on there. Um, and then, you know, starting to put some of these higher volume keywords on there with the buyer intent behind it and, um, starting ranking you for those in the, in a few months time and, and starting to build on that business. All right. So I hope that, um, you learned something there and I hope I didn't um, go on for too long. Apologize. Uh, but um, other than that, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Esty. Bye-bye.